What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Scary Movie 6 in this video here today. So Scary Movie 6 we know was announced not too long ago, a few days ago out at CinemaCon from Paramount. And we know that shooting is supposed to take place sometime later this fall and that the film is eyeing a 2025 release. We're going to talk a little bit about the rumored plot details that have been shared with me. Also some information on when the movie could drop specifically in 2025. But before I get into that, we also need to address these comments that Melissa Barrera made recently with Inverse when interviewed by them expressing interest to appear in the upcoming six movie she said i always loved those movies when i saw it announced i was like oh that would be fun that would be so fun to do i have this thing of never saying never to anything i'm very open to the opportunities that come now recently shout out to you sam's carpenters on twitter marlon wayans who still has not yet been confirmed as being heavily involved creatively with the ongoings of scare movie six he, however, started following Melissa Barrera on Instagram and she started following him. So I would hope this is going to lend itself to us getting confirmation soon that Marlon is involved creatively. However, it could also be a case of Marlon overheard Barrera's comments and just wants to show appreciation to her appreciation to the IP that he helped create and popularize in the early 2000s with those pair of spoof movies, particularly Scary Movie 1 through 3 uh more so of course the first two that are iconic in the 2000s so i hope that marlon is involved but again it could also be just him expressing appreciation for melissa's love towards that ip that he helped popularize in the 2000s now let's talk about some of the rumored plot details that i've heard well actually no before i even get any further into that for anyone that thinks that this would be a bad move because of what happened with barrera and scream 7 and the scream franchise that's irrelevant. <laughs> Let's not forget that Tori Spelling has appeared in Scary Movie and, and Scream. A few other stars have done it as well. Anthony Anderson has appeared in Scary Movie and Scream. I think someone else has also done that too. Who was it that played Jenny McCarthy? Jenny McCarthy, she's done it as well. She was in Scary Movie 3 and she was in Scream 3. How ironic. Third entry, she's appeared in both third entries of those franchises so melissa barrera jumping ship into scary movie wouldn't be any new territory from a scream star appearing in a scary movie entry not at all i would love to see her hopefully this means if marlon is creatively involved that he's keeping an eye on her and wants to bring her in to audition for a role or whatever that may be but again let's now dive into these rumored plot details so a few of you might have seen me put this tweet out a few days ago at this point where i had the word interesting and it was a clip of doofy at the end of the original scary movie i've heard that doofy is supposed to return in the upcoming film that's not confirmed until we start hearing about it more but it seems like that is the direction they're going because there have been some meetings that have been happening related to the project with certain stars in attendance at these meetings. That is all I can say about that. Uh, I do feel pretty confident that Doofy will return. I feel like that's going to materialize or at least confident in the fact that that's one of the directions that they are considering. I, of course, I do not know how deep in the creative process they are when it comes to the screenplay, but I would imagine they at least have an idea of where they want to go or at least also are already writing the screenplay if it's supposed to start filming sometime this fall. So what would you do with a scenario in which Doofy is returning? Well, you could obviously do the requel approach, poke, poke fun of the recent sling of requels or trend of requels we've been getting with these horror franchises you could have a set of characters who are in the town present in the original scary movie somehow anna ferris and regina hall's character of brenda and cindy can get brought back into the mix but then you could also literally pull a Stu mocker angle with doofy since doofy could have let's say in between the events of scary movie and where we are now with six got caught in the presence of Gail Hailstorm, who was also brought to justice since she's helping helping a criminal escape, assuming she knew what he was up to. And in between the events of where we last saw him escape at the end of one, now where we are in six, he's been behind bars. You could literally pull what so many people want to see with Stu Mocker with Doofy. You could pull that angle in Scary Movie 6 because Doofy legitimately got away. So Doofy could escape. He could join forces with whoever is wreaking havoc 
in the town again just for whatever reason they come up with because it doesn't really need to be anything too elaborate it's supposed to be a spoof it's supposed to be funny nothing too serious he could don the ghost face costume again or he could decide to don something else that's from another iconic horror franchise shoot maybe he comes back dressed as michael myers who knows so they can poke fun at that franchise you could do something like that obviously i think pulling a stew angle with doofy would be the simplest way to go and it's a little bit more plausible than the actual stew mocker that people want to see return in the screen franchise doofy actually got away so there's room for opportunity to capitalize on this with doofy possibly returning in scare movie six because again i'm hearing that's the direction they want to take doofy could join forces with whoever is wreaking havoc in the town if it's not himself because he could of course always just escape go back to the town we know it's him the whole time and then the movie can just play out from there i don't really think scary movie six needs to be anything that's overly serious overly mysterious it doesn't need to be this overly complex who done it if we know who's responsible for it from the get-go and it just happens to be doofy and you're able to give us a dose of nostalgia also mixed in with modern modern jabs at the current trends that we are socially and in the horror genre we'll have a hit on our hands it doesn't need to be anything overly serious because again it's supposed to be a spoof as long as it's a well-made spoof you'll have a hit on your hands now i've also heard that scary movie 6 is eyeing a september 2025 release now i will say that the person who let this slip wishes that they didn't let this slip but i'm not going to say who that was <laughs> because again they weren't supposed to let it slip if they're listening to this video you know who you are and we'll see if this actually ends up being confirmed sooner rather than later but apparently paramount wants to have this movie in theaters by september of 2025 obviously that could be subject to change but within what's happening with these meetings regarding this movie that appears to be one of the things that are in place to have it out by september of 2025 if it does not come out in september of 2025 that does not mean that they were not eyeing it i'm just letting you know what i have heard similar to how that i have heard that doofy is supposed to be involved with this movie and that they could also just be taking a requel approach which is the best outcome you could have given where we've been going with the recent trends of these horror ip revivals let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to scary movie six why or why not what do you think about the possible return of doofy how do you think that should go down in the sixth entry what do you want to see from cindy and brenda if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can miss video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video